welcome once again to this youtube channel my name is manuela of course and then today we are going to be talking about how to study effectively how to study um, when you have bulky materials how to read effectively basically everything about studying we are going to cover all of them and with me here is um i know he's quite familiar and i wouldn't want to speak for him so i would please allow him to introduce himself Okay, um, my name is, uh, good day everyone, my name is Arutiba Oluwashiwa Pita. I'm a 300 level student of the University of Ibadan, medicine and surgery, and I'm someone that enjoys okay, performing excellently academically. Initially, the motive was just to feel big, but now it is to glorify God. Then I also enjoy in one form or the other mentoring others to perform excellent in the academics too yes that's the selfless part we i like the fact that he said that he lost mentoring people because that's actually sound i mean <laughs> it is a selfless person to mentor people again i also like the fact that he said the motive has changed from maybe you're just trying to feel big to i'm allowing it to give glory to god but that's by the way, I would like us to go into what we have today. So, um, you're welcome again, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be asking you so many questions. Please feel free to make use of the comment section. We are here for you. We are here to attend to all your needs. Feel free to make use of the comment section and ask your questions. You can just ask any question of, of your choice. You can also use the comment section to thank him for coming and to say anything in your mind. So, please let's slide on to what we have today. So the first question I have now is um, like how do you study when there is no motivation? Perhaps I want to read, but uh, everything is overwhelming. I'm remembering a lot of personal issues, emotional you don't feel damage. Like and reading, right? You don't feel like reading. Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, that's a tricky one because what you don't feel like doing, your body will most likely fight you doing it and give you excuses. Yes, but one thing I found out is that. Um, you don't do great things if you all you do is wait for your feelings to move you in a particular direction. You do great things because you see a need to, because you have a commitment to that endeavor. I'm not necessarily saying that you should strip yourself of doing things you enjoy, but I'm saying that you should recognize the necessity of your academics, your education. It is not something to trivialize. So when you know that, that builds a solid commitment to your academics. So not the word commitment. Dedication is also similar to it. So commitment drives you beyond where your feelings uh, stop. Yes, for example, if you make a commitment to show up at work, you are employed, whether you feel like or you don't feel like, you have to turn up. You have to take an excuse from your boss. So that one, your feelings are not factored into it because you know you have to make a living. So the same thing, you should have such a commitment, even though it's not so official, to your academic, such that you are willing to do things as demanded, not as convenient. I know that our feelings usually go in the line of our convenience uh, what is convenient for me at this point i really don't like this course this course is bulky so i don't even feel like starting at all no that will make you relax and then start a rush at the last minute because what you postpone because of your feelings when the exam comes you will still have to crash read that is rush through the material it will be profitable so instead of waiting for motivation or vibe as we call it resolve to build a solid commitment so that will enable you to read when you feel like and when you don't feel like sometimes when initially before you start reading you don't feel like but as you start and the understanding is flowing you find out that that motivation comes but it was waiting for you to start so most people allow lack of motivation to prevent them from starting at all and that is not the best yes that is not the best. So, um, as I said, you build commitment when you understand the essence, the purpose of education. It is to build you up into someone who has something to contribute to society. I don't mean that 
anyone without an education has nothing to contribute. But education usually refines you. It refines your talent, your gift, especially if you choose a career path that is in line with your gift and your passion. It refines it. It makes you someone worthy of recognition in society. So you also understand the reward. If I do well, it will give me the opportunity to impact others because people like to flock around an excellent person. Yes. Definitely. It is the person that is doing well it's in class. It's like a magnet that attracts yes. people. Yes. Excellence is very attractive. By the <laughs> yeah. way. So, but you are not attracting them just to feed your ego so that you have an opportunity to serve. There's something I've been learning lately. I've been learning it from this very good friend of mine. I won't tell you his name yet. But, you know, he has been showing me I will say the name later. <laughs> he has been showing me that I should have this servant mentality that I am here to serve. That is those that serve the most, that are the greatest. Not those that try to exalt themselves. Those that serve the most. So, when I see that, okay, many people are counting on me. Many people will benefit if I do well and if I have the ability to help them. So I will develop myself in that regard, knowing that the development that has happened in my life, I can draw from it and help others. And then the goal is achieved. No one is really sent here to earth for himself. Just like if you check the ecosystem now, let's say the plants, the animals, they all have something to contribute to the entire ecosystem. The fruits, plants, produce they don't consume it themselves for example so when you have this mentality you understand the purpose of your education of your academic and of doing well in it and you understand the rewards that come of course rewards come recognition and all that mm -hmm. but you can also stay with people who have that excellent mindset that good mindset and you deliberately learn from them because unless you deliberately learn from them, you can stay with them for years and it's only a little of that mindset that will rub off on you. But you can let the influence of people who have gotten it right as regards their mind towards academics. And then when you learn from them, you would find out that you are, you are being built into someone who is committed. So God didn't create created us rather to be independent, but he created us to be interdependent. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I believe those can help. Those can help. Understand just this course. What is he really saying? What is his benefit in society? How can I contribute to improving society by my knowledge of this course? Those are the things that can give you ginger, in quotes. Not just vibe or uh, the students in me is 2%, so I won't read. No. When you are committed, you won't even regard whether the student in you is 2% or 1%. You just do what you need to do. For the greater good so okay. i believe i've answered the question so but when you don't feel like you can remind yourself again what is the basis of my commitment to this thing who can help me see the reason why i should study who can help me make because easier some of us what scares us is that this material is so bulky and complex will i understand it yeah you can't because your mates can explain them to you yes your mates can explain them to you and then when they get you started like that, give you the basics you need to know, then you can go back to the material without fear. Yes, I'm, I trust we understand. I trust we understand. So. Wow, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that I was so inspirational. Uh, yes, <laughs> that was so inspirational. It was, I just, it was as if I, there was nothing like I could remove from the other. I was just writing everything and Really? It was just so much. It was inspiration and it was dealing sp um, straight away into my spirit. So I believe you said you have written a lot. You would have written a lot down. So I don't think I can say everything that I've written down because I've written a lot. But just should I say, oh, no, you write your own. <laughs> okay. So this one is my personal journal. And it, it's actually a privilege for me to be standing here and be having this interview. It's a privilege it, for it, me too. <laughs> No, it's a privilege for me. <laughs> Let's do it. Because I am learning a lot. I am learning a lot. These are just glad. spoke from Thank the God. heart. It spoke mm. from the heart. And I am so so grateful. I'm so so grateful. Okay. You don't do great things. It's something like you don't do great things if you if you allow your feelings. That's it. If you just allow your feelings to control you, you don't 
do great things so basically you do things irrespective of your feelings and i don't, I don't want to you should be so committed to studying to the extent that you do things as matted rather than as convenient i learned that from someone too wow well, you learned that from ah that's yeah. it continuous learning will help you a lot you do things as demanded rather than as convenient and as convenient and no one is really sent here on earth to yeah serve we are himself. to serve himself or to serve others yep. and then we are created to be interdependent you can also stay with those who have excellent mindset but you must learn from them deliberately if not you can stay up to a year and you have not still learned from them mm. why because you are not deliberate about learning from them. You must be deliberate. And that reminds me, somebody was, let me just link it up to something I was watching yesterday night. Where somebody was saying that, uh, I said that even the Spirit of God can be somewhere. But if you don't speak, speak light into that place, that power. The Spirit of God is power, but He will not manifest until you speak it. You can he can just be here and sickness is there. But Very if you don't speak it, He will not by Himself go and act. He does he doesn't like uh, he's not a uh, undertaker now <laughs> uh, uh, he doesn't force himself he doesn't people. force himself so you have to realize first of all that he's here and then you realize that that's it that's just how it works deliberately you must do it mm. deliberately and then um how can i contribute to the society by the knowledge of this course that's it when you actually have that in mind do you know the way you learn will be different yes because if I am learning by, because I want to contribute to this side, the problem is that we are learning because we want, want to, to write a exam. The teacher, yeah. Oh yes, that's it, that's the issue. But when you are learning like this, you'll even become collected and you'll be able to do a lot. So that's, that was beautiful. <laughs> Commitment is, I, I, I have not gotten over this um, stuff you said, that commitment is a virtue that one can rely on. Yes. I, I, he said that in the previous video uh, commitment is a virtue that one can rely on i cannot forget it i've posted it on my status several days. <laughs> hey the next question is okay we talked about motivation how do we even study especially when the exam is far away you know hey basically it's basically the same thing but if my exam is like a uh, next two months the mo two today. months away right uh, two months away and and i am here today i know that the exam is a bit far so how do i study okay i think the fact that exams are far gives you an advantage mm -hmm. and i think you can do your best study when the pressure of exams is not mm -hmm. is still far like that is the time to really know the course because then there is really no pressure that ah, i must pass this thing i must do this except the pressure you put on yourself yeah. but i feel your best study in preparation for the exams is done a great while even before the exams mm -hmm. because it, it it is a means of producing how do i put it now of getting a good understanding of the course that is when you can really plan okay i'll go through this course and go through it again until my understanding is deep so repetition works well then planning well you know you are planning to be sound in the course not just because mm -hmm. of the exams not just to be sound to be a sound student mm -hmm. in the course so there are a variety of plans you can put in place actually i don't think i'll bore you with so many of them no please. but um, <laughs> we are not very <laughs> not so no like they don't need to be many okay, plans okay. vary depending on the individual yeah yeah so but stuff that i general study take notes i really feel like it is 99 percent advisable to put something down on what you are studying whether it is a comprehensive note or just a jota where you put down the little details a jota is good because it prepares you for the exam period where you may not have the time to go through the uh, entire material but you can just go through your jotting in fact that's what my dad advised me or it, it told me that that's what he did that during exam periods he doesn't do much studying actually he just goes back yeah. to his jottings to the work he has done over the time and then just revises it 
just improves his knowledge in the necessary areas um, take on questions during the exam so but it is during the session program when exams are fine quote that you begin to build a solid foundation in the course what do you do with the classes do you trivialize the classes because oh exams are not near uh, well let's just take it anyway. or do you do you realize that the first few classes in a course are where you are taught the basics right and those basics are your foundation in the course so to make your exam time easier i don't feel if there's any time to really stress yourself and exert yourself so much it is during the session when exams are not so near during the exams you need way more rest than you think like many students have their mentality turned upside mm-hmm. down it is the exam periods they stress themselves so much that even the stuff they've studied under tension they can't remember because the brain is stressed overstretched some okay let's no good there but the fact is that you should exert yourself more when you have more energy at the beginning of the session and then you should just revise and build on the foundation you've built during the session when the exam is near that is what you should do i feel it helps a lot i feel it helps a lot to realize that actually so yeah be consistent be consistent be consistent putting the work putting the work knowing that yeah the person that taught me the quote i made earlier about choosing to be a servant is god actually god is with me so wow he teaches me that's okay <laughs> yeah that's okay it teaches I'll me i know your secrets <laughs> it teaches me yeah god's secrets are open to everyone, everyone. that comes to you not okay. everyone yeah okay. so uh, the point is you made me miss my point now so, oh that's right like god you know crown the efforts of one who has been lazy <laughs> so when you've been lazy oh, throughout the session <laughs> you will now try to rush and then so people will be like god i beg eh no <laughs> it is it can give you some help here and there but Messy, yeah. your efforts have already limited what is fair for him to give you do you get like god is responsible in as much as he's a miracle worker he's responsible he knows that this person has not put in the required effort for me to crown his efforts with the success i had in mind for him so god will help you because he's yeah. merciful but you should show yourself to be diligent yes so my god doesn't encourage slothfulness actually yes okay. so be diligent during the session and then consolidate those good efforts you've been making in the exam trusting god not your efforts there's a balance to it you put in the right efforts because you are trusting god to crown it with a success that is beyond even the efforts you've made mm-hmm. but you don't sit around and be lazy so i think you must have learned from this that you should be deliberate about the first few classes mm-hmm. in the session because that's your foundation but you should be consistent throughout then also consolidate your efforts in the exam get good rest during the exams eat good food during the exams those two things are underrated actually mm, especially yes. good food i think i don't even yes. think i've heard of you so i'm not saying mm. you should eat heavy on exam morning or no mm. it's make you sluggish but during that period make sure your diet is okay before i think at a particular phase in my career in under level i usually took serious the morning before the exam mm. serious I had some of that those use those beverages mm. not the soda not soda mm. like milo vomit and like they really hate students memory wow. and stuff like that I've heard so, it before something like I had a milk especially yeah and chocolate too stuff so I just mm. take it, let's say conflicts the money for the exam I don't know why I'm delving into it but don't starve yourself don't stress it yes. and don't under it so do everything moderately and yeah balanced sure and um, that reminds me what are those that are like fast even on the exam day what would you say uh, well it depends on your convictions now if you feel late to fast i can't put a rule down that don't fast on your exam day yes yeah. i have there have been times where i have had to wait on god in exam mm-hmm. day so uh, i would trust him to strengthen me but the general rule is just it's well don't be stopped yeah so okay well That's i think true. i will incorporate the rest of what i'm saying to when exams are near
Okay. I don't know if you have. I, I, I is think that I, the next question? Yeah, that's it actually. That's the next question. When the exam is near. Okay, I think I said a couple of things about how that the good foundation you've laid during the session should be what you build upon. Now, you're interested in um, honing or improving your question solving ability, knowing how to give the lecturer what he expects because you can be sound but not know how to arrange your answers in a way that the lecturer yeah. would. So you should learn that. You can learn that from your seniors. You yeah, can learn see, that by leveraging... You wanted to say something? I wanted to tell you a story for when you finish. Okay. <laughs> by leveraging teamwork. I, I love it when, like, as a class, for example, my medical Journey. set, mm -hmm. as, when, as a class, we come together and just everyone is just contributing his quota to help everyone else. Mm -hmm. And then one ensures that no one is left out eventually. Mm, no one is left out eventually. So yes. Don't be a loner because it's when you're alone that pressure can easily get to you. Mm -hmm. But when you're with others and you contribute and you learn to, yeah, exactly. you will do better than when you're just alone. Do you understand? So even yeah. if it's one study partner you can find probably sometime in the session can stick with the person. You people would have learned each other's strengths and weaknesses and how to work together to produce maximum results. Right. But like just ensure no one is left behind. As you help others, you are getting better. So I think that is what I will that's all I will say for now. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We are really learned a lot from you, Mende. Like I said, I am actually jealous of giving you all that I'm just saying, so that I expect it to be making your own jottings. However, let me just help mm -hmm. small. <laughs> I just give you small. So, um, God will not crown the efforts of one who has been lazy. One who has no efforts. Yes, one who has no place. efforts, exactly. So you need to have an, you, have, you need to have efforts uh -huh, before God can crown it. If you don't have efforts, what will God even crown? Exactly. God will bless the work of your, of hands. your hands. If you don't have work, and yeah. you only have hands, what will God do? <laughs> I just enable you to do the small work you can do in that time so that I can bless it. Yeah. So that's it because and he said something like God is responsible in as much as he is a miracle worker a wonderful yes a miracle worker he is also responsible and my God is not slothful he said all those things so those should actually not make you to feel like uh, maybe if I don't read if I submit a blank sheet I'll still get 100 100 <laughs> he does he works wonders or miracles so but True. please please do he won't best. prefer do your best yeah do your best as much as possible. So that God Himself will be like, Have you seen this, my son? What He is doing? The way uh, He said, Have you seen my <laughs> servant Job or so? Yes, I wanted to add this funny thing I heard from a friend, a senior friend who is a believer mm. in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He said, Many of us ask God to show us, okay, to lead us to where questions will come up from. Yeah. And by God's grace, I've experienced that. A lot yeah, of times, yeah. I've seen others experience that. I've seen others tell me that mm. this will come out and it's by come God, out. like go to them, mm. and it came out. So I've benefited so much from that. But he said, many of us ask for that benefit, but we don't ask God for grace to finish our material. For example, like God oh. can give you the grace to be diligent, and He can give you the grace to know we where it will come yes, out. But it is not interested in making you lazy and just depending on yeah. miracles all the time. Do you get? So. That's very, very true. That's actually very true. So, that's ambiently great, especially in the first few classes you are having, because those are your foundation. He said that too, and, and it doesn't mean you should not be consistent even with other classes. But at least those first classes are like the foundation of what you are going to learn. So that's yes. a lot. And it is when the exams are, are far that you should actually exert yourself. When they are near, you should be more interested at least in um, taking rest. Because you have read through. And then with your jottings, you can know where to improve on. You just revise through and all. So that's, that's what we just need when the exams are closed, right? Yes. According to what you said. And the fact that exams are far, 
yes it's an added ad, uh, advantage according to what he said because it's, a, it's his way you should actually know your course know what to study very very well so thank you so much for that i don't know you have something to add there or we should move on we can move on okay so the next one is a uh, how do you help those that study but, but they forget retain yes they forget yes. okay studying and retention mm -hmm. okay I saw something somewhere that the human brain has the capacity to store all a person can read, see, hear, watch, anything. Like it has a lot of capacity. So I feel like knowing that should give you rest that okay, I am not a forgetful learner. Even it seems like yes, currently I'm not good at remembering. Just give yourself that assurance that mm -hmm. God has not created you in a disadvantaged state as it were. It's just that you probably have not found out how to maximize the power of retention He has given you and He has given everyone. Yes. So, okay, the point about retaining is well, when you pay attention to things spoken to you, they get retained more easily. So, the class is not a place to play about, play around. Mm -hmm. mm. I, uh, I think students should realize class at times, especially in the university setting. Yes. Because we feel it like does. we can always just get the material and read and it. Read it so, but it is not supposed to be so. There's a reason why the lecturer has to put you through and guide you. That is guidance will now make your own studying effective. So when you listen in the class, you gain maximum, you probably jot. In the class then you go back and then build on it again i like saying build on it because it's a progressive yes. thing so you build it's on like it again with cast, your personal study it. maybe yeah. maybe using the textbooks and further materials something you understood you understand well you will most likely remember well even if you don't remember some parts of it to be little but go for understanding cramming is what makes many people susceptible to forgetting mm -hmm. For example, okay, let me not give an example now, but read to understand. There's a way what you understand helps you retain more. Then, okay, I'm writing a book currently on some study techniques, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to remember some of the things I am putting down there. Okay, one of them is charts, illustrations, diagrams, mm -hmm. pictorial stuff generally. They help with retention more. They help with retention more because the things you can capture as a picture. Ah, I'm not trying to sound like I'm doing rhymes, mm -hmm. but things you can cap your memory captures in the form of a picture. They stay longer. Mm. They stay longer. So don't ignore diagrams and illustrations that are in your slides because you want to rush to read the text. Pay okay. attention to them. They can aid your memory. So mm. watching videos is something. That is common among us university students, medical students especially, yeah. because we know they aid our retention, and that's in addition to what the teacher has said. Then, when you study with a curious mind, when you study with a curious mind, you are studying to find out, to know. Your mind takes it more seriously than when you just study to pass. Yes. So this system whereby we study two days to the examination just to cram everything and then pour it out the same way is not efficient because you are studying beyond passing the exam you are studying to become professionals mm -hmm. and it is what you understand that you'll be able to dispense like you'll be able to dispense value in the areas you understand mm -hmm. so go for understanding and then there's something we call active recall where you yes. practice how to remember things active recall is something I learned from someone too like not because maybe one of my course mates, uh, worth. yeah worth exactly is the one so you can so, check out his youtube, YouTube channel video. yeah yeah he's uh, also one he's of very our course he's very good so active recall mm -hmm. <laughs> we should we should let's go to the so that you pay us for this okay. but I'm oh yeah <laughs> yeah so active recall is <laughs> where you sit down you're Yay. not necessarily doing the conventional or the normal mm -hmm. study you're just sitting down and trying to recall, oh, wait, what do I remember about this thing? So one thing I advise you to be is 
don't we quickly conclude that i can't remember this thing wait because most times you think it's somewhere in your memory you can fish it out when you practice doing this thing you become better at it so that in the exam hall when there's even pressure you've mastered how to be patient with yourself you've mastered how to be calm let's say it's an oral exam now mm -hmm. some people know things but they forget it because they are before an oral examiner and maybe he looks fierce or yes. or uh, strict so but when you practice recalling in your secret place, let me use that term. In your personal study, yes, you even be able to your bedroom, your toilet, and everything. Yes, like unconventional places. You just remember, oh, what is the year cycle? That reminds me, it, conventional it. and unconventional methods of studying. Study. Yeah. We talked about this in the other the video. The first video, right? In the first video. So I'm going to put the link down. I should yes. also put the link to medical so so video down, um, YouTube channel down, so you can check all of them out for active recall and all. Yes, so those things help you practicing how to recall. Be patient with yourself. Then writing down. Then know that when you are practicing past questions, you are practicing how to also recall. Not just recall. Arrange what you recall in a way that it answers mm -hmm. the lecturer's question. Yes. Many of us don't learn the art of answering questions well. It's and it true. is in the exam that we answer the questions for yeah. the first time. And then lecturer is like, what you have not ordered on? your thoughts well enough mm -hmm. for me to give you maximum Amen. marks so these are some of the things that can help but pray pray yes pray you know god gives people power love and sound mind mm. through jesus christ everything that god has to I give man you. is through jesus christ so one of them is power love, love and, and sound a sound mind, mind. I'm seeing not like you see fear you. i get <laughs> not fear so you pray to god because he created I you see. he knows your makeup he knows mm. how to help you. He can give you the techniques. He knows your makeup. Yes. Your genetic so makeup. He knows your makeup. He's the creator. He's the originator. He's the one with the blueprint. Mm -hmm. And he knows how to help you through school. Like, not just for the sake of helping you through school, but because he's your maker and he desires that you do well. So, pray. You know, I like saying this in that more than any technique, I'm a man. More than any technique man can give you, depend on God. More than any technique you know works, mm -hmm. depend on God. Because techniques can fail you at times oh, yeah. situations can come that they will be beyond you mm -hmm. but god doesn't fail god always makes a way so i remember when i was doing my work mm -hmm. i had this aim, aim in mind i think i mentioned it in the last video i'm not sure mm -hmm. i'm not sure that i will be the best for ex student in west africa mm. it was an aim I, that i had but by the time i came to the exam period i was so stressed i even looked at my ability and the goal i was like <coughs> that I, sh I admitted to myself that i'm not capable but i knew god answers prayers mm. i knew thank god for my parents i always drummed it into our ears that you can't be proud because you are doing well because nothing you have wasn't given to you you don't have okay. anything of yourself even the body that you mm. carry away your parents contributed in quote your parents contributed the cells that make up your body so it's yeah. not yours yeah. so so they taught me that but they also taught me to depend on god because they usually prayed for us every morning in the session before going to school prayer mm -hmm. and anointing then yeah. exam special prayer and anointing ah, ah, <laughs> so, but so they taught me that hmm, there's a god that answers prayers and then i prayed to him mm -hmm. and god this is what i've been able to do i didn't say that exactly but this is what I'm going to do. Now. Yeah, Please, I want to achieve this thing. Please help me. Mm. Help me. And it did. And I came out with the best white result in West Africa. In West Africa. When people see me, they be like, it's because it's good. No, I know that. No. no. Someone a grace. Someone granted me grace. And his name is Jesus Christ. It's a the source of all grace. Mm -hmm. So I can't be proud. Even if I notice any form of pride, I'll tell God, God to help to me root it you. up. But yeah. the point is, God can take you beyond where your abilities, mm. where your knowledge, where everything you have can take yeah. you. So, I am trust you understand. I don't want yes. to emphasize and, and, this. And I, let me just tell you a story tomorrow. that this morning I woke up and when I finished having my bed, I found out that my, my pain was finished. So, I was like, ah. So, when I was not working, I was not like having this kind of low self-esteem kind of, maybe you know my queen. Oh. So, I was not having this kind of low self-esteem. Um, like self consciousness that maybe people are noticing it that I do not apply um yes use cream. So but yeah. something came to my mind. I have never for once known that 
I've never for once been like, God, thank you for maybe soap and cream or something mm. like that. But now that it is finished, and I came to my consciousness that God has been providing because I don't think there's. Um, I, I can't remember the last time that maybe I woke up with my cream finished. I always buy it maybe before it is mm. finished. Mm. So, like, I'm just trying to say that all these things. We should be grateful to God for everything, even the little things, no matter what. We should just be grateful to God. That yeah. that's just your father say. knows what you have need of, but he's not your father if you've not come mm. to him through yeah. Jesus Christ. Sure. Yeah, he's not the father of everyone, he's the mm. creator of everyone, mm -hmm. but not the father of everyone. He becomes mm. your father through Jesus Christ. So that mm. is just what I'm saying. So when he becomes your father, or he's already your father, then he knows what you have need of. But ask, yeah. so ask, yeah. So, what's the next one? So that's it for uh, when you have a lot of. Hey, have you talked about when you have a lot of materials bulky. to read? Uh, like well, bulky materials. My recommendation is to start early, okay. like start early in the session. Um, start early in the session. Then, so one of the things that save you t save you time and energy, as I've said, is attending classes. Like, the knowledge you have in classes is one knowledge base on its own. Mm -hmm. The knowledge yeah. you now derive from your study is another one you build on. You derive from the mates, the people that you discuss with is another mm -hmm. one. Then your study of past questions. So there are sometimes that students they don't really remember what they've studied, and there's a question in the exam or and they remember that the lecturer said this in class yeah. and they write it down. Mm -hmm. So yes, those things help. Those things are for bulky courses then of course i think you should manage your time well yeah then make sure your your each your each of your studies is a consolidation on the other one mm -hmm. such that no jaga jaga it's not disjointed yes it's disjointed. not disjointed but if it's disjointed if a lot mean. of information is disjointed yeah that's when it will feel like a lot that's going to really be a lot but when can also it be a mindset though. You know, be, sometimes before you read it, be like, ah, I cannot read all these things. No. Yeah, by yourself, you can even be telling yourself, I cannot read all these things. I, know. Mm. I think the mind too is part of it. Yeah, and then you can work on your mindset. That's very yeah. true. Thank you for raising that. Okay. So, the point, if your study is well structured, what yeah. is so much will be easily accessible to you. So, don't study this continuously every topic in the course for example is part of a whole so if you understand it as a whole it helps you better you can use one concept to use to remember another mm -hmm. okay because this is this this has to be this and so this will imply that this one is like this and finally you, you can remember you can connect the dots yes mm -hmm. so let's study be not be disjointed then of course god can help you and then of course when you have momentum, mm -hmm. do a lot, do a lot, do cover a lot. A lot. Mm. Yes, so you can make hay while the sun shines. Mm -hmm. So then, I wanted to mention something along the lines of what I last said about the mindset. Okay. Someone told me something. It's good to have people that have sense around you. Yes. Uh, Someone told me something. He said, I love it. He said, many people have, many children have the average mindset. Mm that they just believe for. My own is just to be average. And it might be subtle, it might not show on the surface. But if you check very well, you might know that ah, this mindset I'm having, it is an average mindset. That mindset can limit you. That even all the efforts you make, they will still converge on that average. It's You'll mindset, be the best yeah. version of average you can be. Hmm. Not any less, not any more, yes. until you change that mindset. Even recently, I was so, thinking about myself. Something struck me recently. I remember before I came into preclinicals, and um, I found out that, like the thoughts just came back that it's actually the kind of a uh, grades I was telling God. These are the grades I just want to get. They are actually the grades I have now. And when I remember this, I was so shocked. I said, "Wow, yeah. it's actually the grades I have now." And, and then I found out that, oh, that means it actually started from my mind. And uh, yes, your you mind. Can, you can just okay. position yourself. It's I, honestly, I will not lie. Like when we finished on the level, that Corona time that I was, we were coming to preclinic. It's just the results I was telling God. I just want to have this results. I just want. 
and they actually i don't know how come but it's now i just noticed that ah, they're actually the resource i have yeah, so sure. that means you uh, don't limit yourself by your mindset. I'm realizing that's actually made me to feel bad. That is even me that's giving myself. I limit, reason. give yourself a reason. Yes, so it might be something, you might not say it out, but deep down, you just feel, see yourself as mm -hmm. average. And that will show you, that will tell in your results. Yes. So I pray God helps you to renew your mind. Yes. yes. What's the next question? The next question is those that genuinely want to have excellent grades but don't, don't know, know how, how to how go to. about it. That's the second uh, to the last question. <coughs> Now this is a tricky one mm -hmm. because knowing what works differs for mm -hmm. each person but you can discover yourself that with what strategies, in what ways can mm -hmm. I study so as to maximize the results I see. Mm -hmm. So as the question said, the person does not know how to but you can get to know how to. You can know how to. And I was saying something, some time ago that you should get to the point where you have mastery mastery where you know what to do to get certain results mm -hmm. and this mastery comes as you discover yourself mm -hmm. oh when i study in the morning wow i retain well because i'm able to replay it in my mind maybe try the day as i do other things always oh, in the night where everywhere is quiet and there's no disturbance <coughs> that's when i can easily take good jottings Mm -hmm. Many of you might not have discovered, but jotting will be of great help to you. Yes, mm -hmm. jotting will be of great help to you. Jotting is not just copying and pasting on your book, no. Yeah. It is writing down what you understand from the material. So that helps a lot. That helps a lot. Then asking questions from your teachers, from your seniors, from your other siblings, especially mm -hmm. those who are doing well. I have a particular junior in med school who always comes into my DM and asks, okay, Shewa, do I need to really know this? How do I... <laughs> and she asked me a lot of questions. And I was like, it's good this lady is disturbing me because she's getting to know more from my experience. Yes. The mistakes I made. Sometimes I even... When people ask me, I tell them, this is a mistake I make. Don't make it. Mm -hmm. Do you get... So, and, and I realized that... getting someone that's genuine. Not everybody can do that, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. But... So, no, the person is just. I realized that I didn't do that well enough with my own seniors in med mm -hmm. school. So I've made my right easier. How do I answer these lecturers' questions? Mm -hmm. And different questions like that. They help you know. Mm -hmm. You know, he who asks questions mm -hmm. hardly misses the way. If he asks questions yeah, from I the think right it's people, a there's a Yoruba proverb. Abi or no? Okay, uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. So that's a Yoruba proverb. So. Then your teachers, your teachers, please make them your friends or honor them. Some of you, you are dishonoring them. That's why mm -hmm. you are not doing well in the course. Is the truth? Because honor you your father and mother again. that your days may be long. It's it has a consequence. So dishonor also has a consequence. Mm -hmm. Do you get so honor them? And the reason you should honor them because if your relationship is good with them, they can give you sound tips. Mm. Don't feel like your teachers are just all they have to do is just what they give you in class and give you assignment and body you know. They are there for you. Mm -hmm. They've excelled in the course. That's why they are teachers, at least a good number of them. So you can learn from them. You can learn from them, you can ask them and some of them will be willing to guide you. So I pray God helps you in that regard. Mm -hmm. But you can embark on that process of knowing what works for you, knowing what to do and what not to do. I don't think any mind is created by God to be ordinary i mm -hmm. don't think so yes yeah, so that's all i'll say okay thank you and um so do reading books really train your brain to learn something faster well well like, like those that don't like reading academic books but they like reading random books like novels books yeah and the likes mm -hmm. well i won't say i have any factual mm -hmm. base mm -hmm. on which to build my proposition or my answer mm -hmm. but i will say yes i will say yes it's an exercise of the brain actually yeah. so the more you exercise your brain the better it masters how to do this thing so learn 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 reading opens up your mind to the minds of great intellects who have mm -hmm. gone ahead of you yeah yeah, yeah so certainly. you can sit in their shoes you can learn what they learned from years of experience so mm -hmm. reading is a good culture i've heard of people who Decided that okay, <coughs> I've not been such a prolific reader of books, so 
but this year i'll start reading books i'll make the project to read books mm. and they become better for it so yeah. not just for your academics for life reading books make you makes you a better person yeah and i once yes. heard someone say that um, tell me how many books you have read and i'll tell you how much you can grow mm. That's and I was true. like, wow. That's true, actually. Mm -hmm. So then well, there's this. I will tell you how far you can go. How far you can go. Yeah, you can go. Yes. Okay. How far you can go. So there's this book that is so wonderful called the Bible. You mm. can read it <laughs> and learn to understand <laughs> God. Yes. Certainly. The thing about the Bible is, it has a. It does not just give you new mindsets, new ideas. It gives mm. you life. Mm. It gives you. That's when you read it with the help of God. It gives you understanding. It's a manual that shows mm -hmm. God's preference for you on how to live actually. I'm mm -hmm. saying this from testimony. Like I'm saying this because I've witnessed it. I've understood this. I've like understood this is what the Bible does because I began to be serious with relating with God. I was a kind of person and trust me. Comparing that kind of person I was now, I was then to who I am now, I, I see there has been a marked difference, and this difference has been produced by God through His Word. So, above all books, read the Bible. There's a reason why it's the most popular book. There's a reason why it's the most sold book of mm -hmm. all time. Because it brings life, transformation, yeah. and healing to them that read yeah. it. So. Yeah, reading books helps. There's definitely. actually nothing else that can give you life aside that. Yeah, nothing else, nothing else. Because it is a physical, it's like the physical God that we have. Yeah, the I physical know. expression you know, of God's God ideas. Yeah. After Jesus, Jesus is the living physical expression. Yeah. Then no, God's word was documented. So yeah. Nothing else can give you life. They can give you ideas, they can give you tips, but not mm. life. But not life. So life comes by the breath of God yeah. through His word. So. God help me to continue to draw life from your word. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I have yeah, to. So. Ah, God, I feel like we this should never end, but I really don't have questions mm -hmm. anymore. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been I get I, I don't right now I'm feeling the way I felt after from Cynthia's interview. I've not never got over that from Cynthia's interview. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I bought up to it today. I will not go to her because she spoke so inspirationally and right now I'm feeling that way. And from since I still made mention of I she recommended a lot of messages that she listened to. What was the um conquer this battle from the book of Daniel? As the preacher spoke from the book of Daniel. Well, I if you need from Cynthia's interview. I think I will also put the link. So I've promised three links now. You label them, right? Yes. I've promised three links now. The, his former interview, that of uh, Medic Wealth, and then from Sitia. Yes. So, three links now. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Ah, do you have anything to say again? Well, I'll just encourage you that okay. excellence is something that you are created for. Mm -hmm. And you can start by believing that. Just believe that mm -hmm. and tell yourself, I'm meant to be excellent. Not necessarily just in academics. But in that path that God has set for me, mm -hmm. yes, and He can hold you by the hands, and no one else can take you to where God wants to take you mm -hmm. to, except God. You can find your way to other other things, but you can't find your way to God's purpose except He takes you there. Mm. So, be thus minded. Let His mind be in you. So, God bless you. Thank you Amen. for watching. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, sir, for today. Thank you, Ma. That's a good. <laughs>